AI is everywhere, everything, all at once, just like the movie. So if you are not careful enough, and if you are not up to date with all these technologies that are evolving, you might be left alone behind in this AI world. So hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how to learn AI on your own as a web developer. <laughs> everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a software engineer in New York City and I'm also your web developer friend. So in today's video, we are going to dive deeper into talking about how exactly you can learn AI as a web developer. I am going to break down the guide for you step by step so you can actually use that to learn on your own. Let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is what do people use AI for? And there's so many different tools nowadays to use for AI. For example, I have used ChatGPT multiple times to help me to do a bunch of different things. I like to use ChatGPT to help me to plan out my travel itinerary. And I also like to use ChatGPT to help me with some creative writing. Obviously, there are a lot of different ways that you can leverage AI and a lot of businesses nowadays also uses AI as their virtual assistants and also use AI to help with customer support. So understanding exactly how AI can impact the web development world and as a web developer, you definitely need to find ways to update your skill sets so then you can also also leverage AI to provide you with more job opportunities and also potential businesses. So step number one I want to talk about is programming skills. First things first, you need strong programming skills and that is probably a known factor as we all know that AI is not magic. It's basically a really intelligent machine learning pattern that that was developed by programmers. So as a web developer, you're probably familiar with JavaScript and some other programming languages. So I would say if you wanted to stick with JavaScript, one of the libraries that can be used with AI and machine learning is called TensorFlow.js. And TensorFlow is a open source library that developed by Google. And it allows you to define a run machine learning models directly in the browser on Node.js environment, which provides you a lot of flexibilities and efficient ways to add in machine learning capability onto web applications. The second programming languages that are worth learning is probably Python. I mean, Python is always mentioned side by side in comparison with JavaScript. And I would say like, yes, Python is probably one of the most popular programming languages in the world. And this is probably also the most popular programming language when it comes to AI and machine learning. So if you have extra time and a bandwidth to learn another programming language, I would say yes, definitely worth looking into Python and play around with libraries like NumPy, Pandas, TensorFlow as well. And I am going to list a few of the libraries that are helpful for you guys to look into them in the description down below. So now we are clear away with the programming languages. The second step is mathematic fundamentals. And this is something that I would say it's like optional. You don't necessarily need to do this step, but obviously if you look into improving your math skills, that would help you to enhance the fundamentals in AIs and machine learning. You might already know this, that AI relies heavily on math. And one of the quickest ways to refresh your math memories will also be visualizing and relearning the concepts like linear algebra 
and calculus and also as well as to statistics because they are the building blocks of AI algorithms. Step number three is online courses and resources. Online courses are helpful because you kind of need like some sort of structure for you to like start looking into step by step how you can learn AIs. And one of the most useful platforms that I would recommend is Coursera. Coursera offers machine learning courses from top universities including Python programming and specific machine learning libraries like Scribekit Learned and TensorFlow. The second platform that I would recommend and I always recommend and that is Udemy. I love Udemy and I am not sponsored by it but I just find so many useful classes that you can purchase for a reasonable price. So Udemy has varieties of Python and machine learning courses including both free and pay options and I would say that like even with the pay options a lot of them are like at a very low cost and it's definitely beneficial for you to purchase a course to really dive into the world of AI. Step number four, which is also, I would say, consider optional, but I do want to mention that, is books and documentation. The reasons for that is people learn very differently depending on, you know, like how you absorb knowledge. Sometimes people learn from books, some people learn from videos. So it really depending on what kind of learner you are. I would say that, you know, if you learn better from reading, I would give you some recommendations on books that you can kind kind of start reading these books and help you to jump into learning about AI and how you can incorporate AI in web development. So I'm gonna put those books in the description down below so you can check them out and hopefully that can help you to get started with learning more about AI. Step number five is projects and hands-on experience. I would say that one of the quickest ways to learn is via hands-on projects. In the previous videos when I talk about like learning, I always mention things like you wanted to make sure that you practice because coding is one of those things that you gotta practice before you can really like grasp the concepts and know how to do it. One of the great way that you can learn about AI and machine learning is using interactive platforms like Datacam and Co Academy. And these two platforms will help you to speed up your learning progress. And remember, like theories are great, but practice is very essential. And just like learning any other new technologies, especially in programming, practice will help you to learn and digest what you learned. So the next thing that I want to talk about is worked with AI projects. Obviously you need to start thinking about like project ideas and uh, ways that you can incorporate what you've learned into project and that probably is the quickest way to help you to really learn the knowledge. And in terms of like AI project ideas, I would recommend to look into image recognition, natural language processing, and chatbots because these are like great beginner projects to help you to jump start on building something that is AI related and start looking into like APIs and work with like libraries and incorporate that into web development. Step number six is joining AI communities. Communities are awesome and also communities are essential because it allows you to connect with people who are learners and also people who are experts in the field. So looking through online AI communities will really help you to have that support system and being able to talk to people with the projects that you are building. And even just like learning on the way when you run into problems, if you have a community that you can talk about things, it really helps you to like absorb that knowledge. AI communities, I would always fall back to Reddit. I feel like Reddit is like one of those like special communities where everybody can just like share
share their hobbies and like things that I learned. You have no idea how many things that I've learned from Reddit, like for real. So one of the subreddit that I recommend is、um, machine learning. So I'm gonna put that in the description down below as well, so you can look into that. Also, I think Stack Overflow is also a great way to learn with the community as well. So and also like Dev.io is another way to like really learn and connect with people in the same community as well. And obviously, like I'm gonna say, also you know through social media like Instagrams, TikTok, and even like YouTube over here. There's like so many people also are passionate about things that you might want to be interested on learning as well. Leverage that peer power to help you to like learn new knowledge. The last but not the least, I would say not even like a step, but it's like be aware of keeping up with all these AI trends. Now AI is a very fast-paced field, and there's like so many newer technologies and newer libraries coming out and coming in every single day. So stay updated with like the following AI conferences and reading research papers and reading news about what's going to happen. Like what are new ways that people can leverage AI to help you to be more productive to generate business. Those are like great ideas and trends that it will help you to like keep up with artificial intelligence in the coming future. Tune in into this channel because this channel always have you know useful informations to help you to learn more about what's up and coming and what are the newest like web development trends and things like that. So make sure to tune in with this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I will talk to you soon. Remember to stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Adios.